Hello friends, this new video is about the topic entropy. So what is entropy? Measure of systems thermal energy per unit temperature that cannot be converted into work so what is entropy basically it is the measure of system's thermal energy per unit temperature that cannot be converted into work or it can also be said as the measurement of randomness of a system now let us see what is Clausius theorem so now let us see what is the statement of Clausius theorem let a system to be taken from an equilibrium state I another equilibrium state F so if you take a system from an equilibrium state of I to another equilibrium state of F by following the reversible path IF let reversible adiabatic process IA be drawn through I and another reversible adiabatic BF be drawn through F then a reversible isotherm AB is drawn in such a way that the area under IABF is process IF so from the equations we can establish this formula that is heat from I to F is equal to U of F minus U of I plus work done that is W I F or Q of I A B F that is of the whole process that is equal to U of F minus U of I plus W I A B F that is work done in the full process of I A B F. So therefore, we can write work done in IF is equal to work done in IABF. Therefore, Q of IF is equal to Q of I A B F that is equal to Q of I A plus Q of A B plus Q of BF since Q of IA equal to 0 and Q of BF equal to 0 therefore Q of IF equal to Q of AB now let us see the derivation of entropy process so here we will represent a reversible cycle and we will split into a large number of Carnot cycle. So let us make so this is let this be a reversible cycle. Let this be a PV curve and let us divide it into a number of so as you can see I have completed the PV diagram by dividing this reversible cycle and splitting it into many Carnot cycles so this will be let this be DQ1 let this be DQ2 and DQ3 and here DQ4 like this now for the elemental cycle ABCD that is A, B, C and D. For this elemental cycle A, B, C, D, DQ1 heat is absorbed reversibly at T1 temperature and DQ2 is rejected 
reversibly at T2 temperature. As you can see, here is T1 and T2 and DQ1 is absorbed and DQ2 is rejected from the Carnot cycle. Therefore, previously I have told you, we can write D of Q1 by T1 is equal to D of Q2 by T2. This one is positive and this one here is negative which implies that dq1 by t1 plus dq2 by t2 equal to 0. Similarly for elemental cycle EFGH that is the next cycle we can say dq3 by t3 plus dq4 by t4 is equal to 0. So dq1 by t1 plus dq2 by t2 plus dq3 by t3 goes so on whose sum is equal to 0. Therefore, we can write cyclic integral of R of dq by t is equal to 0. This is the Clausius theorem. Now, further we will be proving Clausius inequality. Now, we are going to prove in this page the Clausius inequality. So, I have drawn a graph and again separated it into several Carnot cycles. Here you can see the heat rejected is dq2 and the heat supplied is dq. So, we can say efficiency is equal to 1 minus dq2 by dq. Now, we know that the efficiency of any general cycle will be less than or equal to the efficiency of any reversible cycle. Hence, we can write 1 minus dq2 by dq will be less than or equal to 1 minus dq2 by dq reversible. That you can understand? which implies that dq2 by dq will be greater than equal to dq2 by dq of reversible which implies that dq by dq2 will be less than equal to dq by dq2 reversible since dq by dq2 reversible is equal to t by t2 we know therefore dq by dq2 will be less than equal to t by T2. For reversible process, dS will be equal to dQ reversible by T that is equal to dQ2 by T2. Let us consider this. Therefore, for AB, dq by t will be less than equal to ds therefore for any cycle cyclic integral of dq by t will be less than equal to cyclic integral of ds so previously we have derived this now we know that 
entropy is a property and cyclic integral of entropy will be zero since it is a property so which implies that cyclic integral of dq by t will be less than equal to zero so this is for a process therefore the most important conclusion from examination point of view is number one if dq by t is equal to zero then the process is reversible number two if dq by t is less than zero then the process is irreversible but possible and number three if dq by t is greater than zero then the process is impossible so always remember these three possibilities and these are very important from the examination point of view so that's all for this video thank you very much and in the next video we will see about entropy change in different processes thank you